Well, we celebrate Read Across America Week to uh, recognize Dr. Seuss's birthday. Um, even though his books were published over half a century ago, he realized pretty early on that in order to get kids interested in reading, um, first they need to be able to read. So he used a lot of repetition, a lot of rhyming and patterns, used a lot of um, sight words or you know the basic short words that every kid needs to be able to memorize. Of course, then he had to put that together with books that kids love. So of course, he comes up with his crazy characters and all three of those things in combination lead to a kid grabbing the books off the shelves. Our biggest thing is to contact people uh, in, throughout the district and invite them to come and read to our students in the classroom. So we invited um, a plethora of people to come in, read whatever their choice was. It didn't have to be a Dr. Seuss book, obviously. Anything they, they valued as far as reading goes. And reading directly to students is still very, very valuable. Some books teach you you can do anything that you want. Some books are inspirational. There's so many types of books and they can all teach you different things. I think reading is important because if you don't read, you won't be able to understand things. It helps you understand and learn things throughout your life. I just like Call the Cat, the Dr. Seuss books. I don't really have a favorite. Today, in District 5 and all elementary schools, we're celebrating Dr. Seuss's birthday. Even though it's tomorrow, we're celebrating it today. It's uh, been a week-long celebration in our schools, reading across America, and student nutrition is trying to be involved in the education process by offering kids fun meals each and every day in District 5. Today is green eggs and ham, my friend Sam says. And we have fruit brush, and then we have grits, actually, and we uh, have fruit and vegetables. But our big, big meal of the day is green eggs and ham. We, we try to make it fun so the kids will eat. And kids, actually, when they're hungry, they don't learn. So if they come in the cafeteria, they get a well-balanced meal. And if we make it fun, hopefully that gets some kids that normally don't eat to come eat and give our, give our food a chance. So we're very excited about that. Again, if it wasn't for this reading, understanding what you're reading, um, being able to uh, be successful in any class you take, you just have to be a very proficient reader. Anything we can do really to encourage the kids to read is going to make a huge impact in their academics across the board. We just always have pride in five and you know I think all of our staff works hard and today's just one way of kind of spotlighting them in all of our cafeterias. That they have pride in five today and all days too.